Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim with Allah's name the merciful benefit giver the merciful redeemer ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasulullah I testify, I testify as an eyewitness that there is nothing, no one, no person, no ethnic group, nothing, no program, no sport, no fashion, no style, no trend, no game no movie no character etc etc there is nothing and no one to be worshiped except the almighty lord god creator and i testified as an eyewitness that muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prayers and peace be upon him. The mortal human being who lived over 1,450 some years ago. He is one of the messengers of the Lord God Creator and he is the seal of all the prophets. in being the seal of the prophets, the last brick that went into the building of the house of human society. He is an example showing us how to live our lives if we choose, how to live our lives with intelligent, understanding that there is nothing to be worshiped except the almighty lord god creator and on that note i want to spend a, a few minutes sharing with you from the life of this person, this person of this ethnic group, whom I choose to call Bilalian. I throw off the term black. I am not black, I am more than black. Black is only a physical color. names should show qualities names should represent character and the best name the best quality the best character for my life for the life of my people is the person Bilal. Bilal. A former slave. A former slave who physically lived in that same lifetime as Muhammad the Prophet. This person, Bilal, heard the message that was being preached by 
Muhammad and his nature, his character accepted. That's the truth. But that man is speaking of the truth. He held on to the belief and when Muhammad heard about him, Muhammad had him freed. Muhammad sent one of the other Muslim believers to pay the purchase price for Bilal and he was set free. Bilal held on to his firm belief in the words that were being preached by Muhammad. To this very day, in this modern time, Bilal is known by Muslims all around the world. This ethnic group whose ancient fathers were stolen, kidnapped from their homeland and erased, brainwashed of all knowledge that we had before. We knew nothing about Bilal, the history of Bilal, until the Lord God Creator blessed leadership from amongst our community. No other Muslims from the international world came to tell us about the wonderful past history that we had connection with. No, the Lord had to inspire someone from amongst us to go seek and in seeking learned about our great connection. Okay, you have seen the similarities between the life of Bilal and the life of my ethnic people here in America. But I also want to give you another example from scripture that highly, highly highly points to in similarity to my ethnic people. As I'm not saying that we're the only eth eth ethnic people that they may apply to, but in this day and time, in this era of history, it points more so to my ethnic people than any other people on the face of the globe. That is the history, the religious history of the person named Joseph, Yusuf. We are told in the Holy Bible scripture that Joseph was sold into slavery. By who? by other members of the human family. Ah, see the connection? Joseph was sold into slavery. That's the, in, in a nutshell, that's the story from the Holy Bible. But, let me also tell you what is said about Joseph or Yusuf in the sacred Quran. The sacred Quran says that when he was sold into slavery and taken to a society
very high and mighty civilized society. That there in that society, he was put under the authority of the of a certain female. This female was the wife of the leadership of the society. Notice the two stories. The Holy Bible, Joseph was sold into slavery. The sacred Quran, Joseph was sold into slavery and put under the authority of the female who was the wife to the leadership of that society, that high civilized society. From there, now let me share words from the sacred Quran with you to finish out the presentation. This comes from chapter 12, Surah 12 of the sacred Quran. It says, Rawadahu, Rawadahu, she sought to seduce him. Fi bautiha, fi bautiha, in her house. Ain nafsihi, regarding his soul. Galakati, she locked, she shut, il abwab, the doors. She shut the doors. Okay, people follow the logic. Joseph, Yusuf has been kidnapped, has been sold, sold into slavery. He's placed under the leadership of a, under the authority of a certain woman. She seeks to seduce him. Seduce him. What's the purpose? What's her purpose? Why, why does she want to seduce him? For intercourse, sexual intercourse. And the way that we have been, we, the world community, the way that we have all been taught, we only think of physical sexual intercourse. And we don't think any further than that. But Revelation, the Lord God Creator, uses real life everyday things to also <clears throat> teach us concerning higher understandings, to teach us about the mental and spiritual sciences. Sexual intercourse, intercourse, to have their lives meet, to have their lives coincide, come together. She sought to seduce him in her house. Aren't there some people? Isn't there some leadership in countries around the world? 
who have societies which think that think and act like if you're in their house if you're in the area controlled by them their country their nation their area of influence you have to do things the way that they say things should be did do you see the science Ra Wada she sought <clears throat> to seduce. She sought to take him away from his normal character. She sought to make him operate, live life the way that she wanted him to live with her. The course of life. She wanted their two different courses of life to intermix. Now, in real life sexual intercourse, we would say that a female, a married female, as this woman was, a married female that seeks to seduce another male is an adulteress. She is a fornicator. She is a whore. People, scriptures, the Holy Bible and the sacred Quran. both speak of and the Torah. They all three scriptures speak of the adulterer, adulteress, the fornicator, the great whore. Now do you see her in the larger sense, in the mental and spiritual sense? She sought to seduce him in her house. Regarding his soul. She sought to seduce him bring him away from, turn him away from the original pattern of life that he had for his soul. She wanted to turn his soul around. She wanted to make, um, <clears throat> make him, make his soul disobedient the laws of nature. Isn't that what the scriptures is telling us? Isn't that then also the lesson that the scriptures are, te are also teaching us? We have to get away from fantasy land, physical only understanding of revelation. When the scriptures speak of Joseph, Yusuf being taken to this land and the female there trying to seduce him regarding his soul, isn't, <clears throat> excuse me, isn't that in direct relationship to the historical fact? that this ethnic people were physically stolen, kidnapped from their mother country, brought to the Western Hemisphere 
by method of brainwash psych psychological techniques those people were traumatized terrified horrified wiped clean of any knowledge any science that they had of their past history and put into them, instilled into them, forced into them, was the notion, was the teaching that now you're here in this part of the world. And here in this part of the world, you are in our house. In this house, we are your God. In this house, you worship us. You will call us white people, masters, your superior. Never forget that you are in our house. We control you. We control your thoughts. We control everything about you your entire life, the course of your life. Oh, the great whore. The adulteress, the fornicator. Look at the damage she has did to the human family. Yes. Because that particular event was directed particularly at my ethnic group, but it affected the whole family. It affected us in the sense that we were brainwashed into inferior, inferior state. But it also foolishly indoctrinated their own people into believing that they truly were superior. Oh. The leadership of the nations who got together and schemed that plan of kidnapping people from Africa and taking them to the Western Hemisphere to be brainwashed as slave workers, they should have studied scripture more closely. In the scriptures, remember the story of Pharaoh, Pharaoh, when he was told by the messenger of the Lord to let the people go free, he fought against it. But every time that he pro pro proposed a plan of action against them, the result was that it affected his own house. Look at what has happened to America since she did that horrible, insensitive action. Look at what has happened to her. She has fallen down. She has taken the leadership of nations around the world down with her. Why do you think that the nations of the world are having so much confusion nowadays? The world, the total world has reached a point where that foolishness has to be stopped and corrected. By divine law, we're now at that stage. 
my people, my ethnic people, were brainwashed like a bottle that's taken and emptied of all its contents and old dirty and filthy water is placed in placed newly inside oh the so-called masters of that slavery plan did not take into consideration the words of revelation which say that in such times he by divine plan will break the old containers, the old vessels. He will clean the old vessels. He will turn the people, the hearts, minds, and souls. He will reconnect them with the original state that he created them in. There is a part of the human body. There is a part of the human being. There is a part of the human nature, essence, that you other human beings cannot touch that belongs solely to the Lord God Creator. That is why I, following the example of Muhammad the Prophet, following the example of leadership here in the West that was raised by the Lord God Creator, Imam Waridin Muhammad, that's why I I join forces with those people who now speak with the re-educated mind, the re-educated voice of truth. We have been taught by the master teacher himself, the Lord God creator. No other human being can claim credit for bringing us true understanding of Alice Ram. There is no sect uh, amongst the many Muslim groups. And I sometimes see that on the internet. This Muslim group, that Muslim group. And each in its own way trying to make it seem that they are responsible for enlightening the Muslims, the so-called black Muslims in America. That's a lie. We have only been able to arrive at this state and we have been by divine decree, missioned to share it with the world because of what we went through and the fact that we still, through it all, held on to that divine spark, divine connection with the Lord God Creator. We always had a song in our heart, soul, and mind. Our day will come. Our day will come. We shall overcome. That was the heart singing. That was the mind. That was the soul. That is what she 
that poor, poor society, that adulterous, that is what she was trying to take us away from. But it did not work. We are living proof of the power of the Lord God Creator. Rar <clears throat> she sought to seduce him. In these modern times, when so many people, so many Belalian people are rising up and teaching, sharing to understanding of al Islam, of religion. Did you notice that there is a, all of a sudden, these so-called black movies are starting to hit the, the environment? She, the wrongdoers of the, this society in the West and around the world, they are busy trying to seduce you all away from hearing the truth. Example. The so-called black movie, Black Panther, highly publicized as a black superhero. But did you notice they those media people did not give you a real life hero. They gave you a fictional hero. Another example, in this day and time, the mass media presents, sets forth <clears throat> Malcolm X, Malcolm X, Malcolm X. <clears throat> Why? Think, use your mind. The leadership <clears throat> of this world, of America and the world around the globe, hated the truth that was being spoken by Malcolm X when he was alive. So why now, all of a sudden, do they want to resurrect him, pick him back up? Because now they see where they can use him to guide your thinking. The brother Malcolm X did not, did not introduce the common people of America to the religion of Islam, the true understanding of Islam. The true understanding of our Islam. Yes, our Islam. The Muslim leadership around the globe did not even have the name of the religion correctly stated from the sacred book. It's not called by the Lord. It's not called Islam. 
in the Holy Quran, it is always called Al-Islam. And that was not presented, not brought out until the teachings of the Honorable Imam Wadith Din Muhammad. Forces in America and around the world are working hard, dear people, to seduce you, seduce your mind, seduce your heart, seduce your thinking, seduce your soul, seduce your character. You live in a day and time when all truth has been made available. If you want to know the truth straight from the words of your almighty Lord God creator, then learn the original words of your scriptures. If you are a Christian, learn the original words and you may not be able to learn all, well, you will not be able to learn all of them at the same time. But I'm speaking of in the Hebrew, the Hebrew language, the original language of the Holy Bible. Go there and start reading, start studying words by word, one word at a time. Your mind will be opened. We live in that day and time that the Lord promised when all truth would be made available. Yes, these people, this society, the Lakati, they lock Il Abweb. They lock every door, every avenue by which they thought that we might be able to get the light of understanding. But they still could not keep out the Lord, the Lord's plan. Christians, learn some of the words, the original Hebrew words. She, look for, look for the word she in the Hebrew. Look for the word shut. Shut. Shut the doors. Look for those words in the Hebrew, in the Old Testament. His soul, nafs. Look for that word in the Hebrew of the Old Testament. And pray to your Lord to guide you to true understanding so that you can become a wise, rational, intelligent follower, worker of, of living his divine word in your life. That is our human destiny, to rise, to return to our original state. The state that the Lord God creator created us in. Now, alhamdulillah, the praise belongs to, all, to the almighty Lord God creator. Thank you for sharing this time. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a prosperous, uh, pleasant, satisfying life. Do not let this world seduce you.